Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So today we'll be talking about creating Instagram filters and we're gonna be working more specifically on the X-Pro filter. Now, even though we're only creating one Instagram filter, you should be able to create in any Instagram filter uh, after watching uh, this tutorial. Um, but basically, let's go ahead and you know get started. So here is like, I took a, a before you know picture. So basically I uh, exported this image and put it on Instagram and you know put the XPro filter on it so I can get a reference image and then I brought this on to, into After Effects so I know exactly what you know we'll be creating and I have a reference to go off of. So my channel is closing in on 10,000 subscribers and uh, when I do hit 10,000 subscribers you know I definitely plan on giving out some free downloads and in those free downloads I definitely plan on giving out all the Instagram filters you know color presets just like this for After Effects or you know I'm not 100% sure if I'll do LUTs but overall, it'll definitely be for After Effects. You know, I'm going to try to do LUT so you can do do it for DaVinci Resolve and things like that. But, uh, you know, definitely consider subscribing for that if you haven't already. And guys, let's go ahead and get started. So basically, in our blank composition here, uh, you know, I have our reference image already and then our original image. So this picture was taken of my good friend, Julia. And if you want to learn a little bit more about her, uh, you can check out her links in the description of this video. Okay, so let's go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. And let's go to Effect Color Correction Curves. And then let's go to the red channel. And uh, let's go ahead and create like an S curve here. Oh, that's the, there we go. And, you know, just very slightly, there we go. That should be fine. And let me create just a little extra control here. Create a few extra points. And that should be a good start. And let's go to the green channel. And let's copy these. Uh, let's basically just put this uh, green curve exactly over the red curve here. And this won't apply to every Instagram filter, but this will give us the control that we need over the blue channel. So basically what we'll do is we'll kind of go ahead and raise this up a little bit and lower that down a touch. And then let's kind of bring that up a little bit and then bring this one down, kind of create like a miniature S curve. And a little before and after, you know, and let's kind of turn our filter on here. So, you know, we're getting these colors kind of close. So what we need to do now, and we'll probably come back to the curves a little bit later maybe, what we'll do is we'll, we'll go up to a layer, new, solid, and we'll call this vignette. And we need to uh, make sure, you know, we select a dark blue color like this. And then let's click OK. And then let's go up to our tools up here and let's select the ellipse tool and let's double click that. And under mask one, let's click subtract. And then let's hit F on our keyboard to bring up the mask feather. And let's feather that up to like 300 pixels. You know, something crazy like that. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll hit T on our keyboard to bring up the opacity and let's like lower that by a little bit. Okay, and we might, we might come back to this a little bit later. Now, so now, uh, this can, this is where the color is really going to come together. What we'll do is we'll go up to make sure our you know our video or image layer is selected, and we'll go up to layer, layer styles, and we'll click on gradient overlay. So let's go ahead and open that up. So then we'll click on edit gradient, and we'll go to our color stop here at the right, and we want to set this to like a blue color like a more of a you know darker blue color like maybe this one right here and then when we're done with that we'll go up to uh, you know this other color stop here actually let's copy the hex code here and let's go up to this color stop the white color stop and let's paste our hex code into there like that and then let's go up to this black opacity stop and let's set that to zero percent and let's go ahead and drag that into like over here and that should be good and then let's click OK and then what we need to do is set the style to radial. And then we need to go ahead and set the scale to like maybe 150%. And then let's go ahead and go to the blend mode and let's set that to overlay. So typically this is where most of your looks are going to come together for any Instagram fil filter that you create uh, under this uh, gradient overlay effect. Um, so make sure you keep that in mind and you just have to play with the pen tool and things like that under edit gradient if you want to for a certain look or whatever you're trying to do. So we're pretty close now. However, the thing about, you know, the hard thing about uh, Instagram filters is that it is hard to recreate. 
uh, just because there's extra control. Like as you can see, this beach is a little bit warmer, whereas over here is a little bit greener. Or yeah, I guess that's more of a greener look. So what we can do to help you know change that, we can go back to our adjustment layer here, and let's go to effect color correction, hue and saturation. Okay, so let's kind of look at this. So uh, you know Julia is a little bit warmer compared to the Instagram filter, and the beach sand is also a little bit cooler compared to the you know the Instagram filter. So what we'll do is we'll go up to our channel control and let's go to the reds, <clears throat> and Let's go ahead and desaturate the reds just by a little bit. And that should help, you know, take out some of that color. And then let's go to the yellow channel. And what we need to do is saturate this. Uh, so we can go ahead and saturate this by this a little bit. And then what we need to do here is we need to change the hue. So I'll go ahead and change the hue here to help bring out that color that we have in this Instagram picture. And, you know, it's sort of close. I think that's pretty good. And uh, what we need to do, since we did affect the, uh, you know, the tonality of, you know, Julia here, what we need to do is more like isolate the channel range. So what I'll do is I'll kind of just drag these points in by a little bit and then make sure we sprint, <clears throat> make sure we just close everything up and I'm choking here. <coughs> so um, let's see. And maybe what we'll do is we'll increase the saturation by a little bit more. Maybe we'll go back to the red channel, and maybe desaturate it just by a touch. And, we, and obviously that did a lot for our image. So the Instagram photo is a little bit warmer than our image here. So what we'll do is go back to the adjustment layer and under the blue channel, let's go ahead and kind of just bring that down a little bit. And that will help bring out some of those yellows that we have in our filter here. And I think that, looks pretty good. I think it's really close. It's not 100 percent, you know, exact, but um, let's turn this off. But I think we're really close. So basically, now that we have our filter here and, you know, basically what we can do is, you know, instead of deleting this and, you know, pasting things over, what we can do is we can make sure this layer is selected and we can go ahead and like drag in our video layer by holding down alt on our keyboard. And we just place that right in there. Boom, there's our video. Now I have to scale this back up to 100%. And let's go to like a frame where there's some video. So, you know, that looks pretty close now. This vignette might be a little bit strong and it's not this vignette, it is our gradient. So what we can do is go ahead and open up our layer styles for our footage and go to gradient overlay. And then we can adjust the angle and that will, you know, spread it out and, you know, kind of just you know, give us control over how strong we want our gradient to be. And, you know, that looks pretty close to the X Pro filter. And um, basically, this is all the same concepts uh, for all the Instagram filters. You will need to use a gradient overlay. And, you know, curves are going to be your primary control. And then understanding that you have to create hue and saturation, you know, you have to play with the individual channels to get the exact look that you're getting in on Instagram and then adding a vignette. And with that, you should be able to create any Instagram filter. Um, I would I would have been happy to do them all, but you know, typically, you know, that would have taken like forever to do more than you know two. So I just stick with this one. So I think it was a good tutorial. And when I do hit 10,000 subscribers, you know, I definitely will be giving out the uh, you know all the Instagram filters for free. I'm not sure it's gonna be a form of LUTs or you know an After Effects project file, but I'll definitely be giving out the filters for free and then along with you know a bunch of other things for free as well so so if you guys have any questions or any requests for tutorials please drop a comment down below or hit me up on my social media links in the description below and uh, if this video has been helpful please drop a like it helps me out tremendously and if you haven't already please consider subscribing for more videos just like this and guys thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully i will see you soon